Hello everybody and welcome to my first Microsoft Access tutorial and um, these tutorials are going to show you the uh, beginnings of how you would use Microsoft Access um, and then we'll go on to how you would create full blown uh, applications with Microsoft Access as your, your back end database. Um, so first of all what is Microsoft Access? So Microsoft Access is a database and program. It is quite a a basic one in terms of of how uh, well it performs um, but in terms of usability um, and accessibility it's, it's a very accessible platform um, that a lot of people can can easily pick up so uh, let's let's get started with with creating our first database um, so I've opened up Microsoft Access um, I'm doing this in Microsoft Access 2003 um, and the very first thing you want to do is click on new and then blank database um, it's then the first thing it's going to do is it's going to ask you to create your a new database so I'm going to create a new folder called MS Access Tutorials and I'm going to put my database in here so database tutorial one. Um, now one thing you, from the very start that we'll start getting used to is instead of using spaces in anything it's just using underscores instead um, and the reason to this will, for this will become apparent in later tutorials but for now any table names any database names any field names um, basically any names of anything just use underscores instead of spaces so we've now created our first database um, the reason it asks you to save it before you've even started doing any work on it is now that we've created this database this database is now an area of work that anyone can input data into so the databases are designed to be accessed by multiple people so when you first set up your database you're not setting up a file such as creating a file and then saving it you're, you're creating an area within which data can be stored the the main interface which has come up here um, you notice it's got quite a few different things that you can do so your main ones down the side so this is your objects within your database um, my first few tutorials are going to concentrate on tables because um, there that the tables are where you keep all of your queries uh, uh, your data so all data goes in tables the rest of these are just ways of manipulating or reporting your data we'll then go on to queries um, queries are uh, w ways of you taking out data in different formats um, you can also use them to update your data and create complete new sets of data um, and then you've got forms which um, are ways of creating front end uh, templates for people to be able to access their data with and you've got reports which are just a, a kind of default MS Access way of, of showing your reports um, I don't use it very often um, but I know people that do and they can be quite slick um, but I'm not going to do any tutorials on reports um, and I'm also not going to do any um, on pages um, and then you've got macros and modules um, that uh, we'll come on to in, in later tutorials uh, once we've got a grasp of the basics so that's it for creating your first database um, in the next tutorial I'm going to show you how to get started and how to start uh, create your first data table um, so thanks for listening and I hope to catch you in my next tutorial